Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play I'm Shatsuna. We're about to take on the Dark Samsara and hope and pray that we can beat it. Here we go. Actually, you know what? Not yet. Because I could probably do with some talisman equipping. Uh, specifically on her. <clears throat> That's all we can do right now. Let's go for it. This is it. So here we are, finally. Huh? That's strange. My body won't stop shaking. I too. The sheer scale of his magical energy must be making our bodies tremble. Yeah, me too, to be honest. I feel like my shadow's about to make a run for it. Lucas. We just need to trust each other. You're right. All we can do now is place our trust in each other and fight. There's still so many things I want to do. I'm not kicking the bucket now. This vile foe, nemesis of my kingdom, destroyer of my homeland. To find the true meaning behind those tears. That is why I'm here. Looks like it's finally time. For the sake of all those who gave their lives as sacrifices, we must put an end to this. Damn right. Let's do this. Come on. Time to finally put an end to this nightmare. Let's give this last battle everything we got. I don't need you to tell me that, old man. For the future of this world. I cannot die here. Lucas, I'm counting on you. I don't like how much he's healing. It's kind of already annoying me. Um, who is this? Oh, okay. okay Tom Strike. Um, wait, where's Wall? I had Wall. Is it because I put Realization? Ah. Oh, that's, that, that's probably going to cost us because I need my Wall ability. For Setsuna. That's really annoying. That you put on one Sprit Knight and it changes your whole, like, outcome of skills. Okay, 
私の覚悟を見せてあげるあれまねえぞやるぞ諦めろ終わりだ Oh come on We really can't afford misses like that Yet he misses Especially with this thing healing so much Yes. Uh, start the ether process as much as we possibly can right now. I'm curious, is it gonna take zero? Oh, okay. I thought we had to have, like, our team had to be hurt HP wise for it to take damage off of them. Oh god. That's for me. Cleave him. We'll get, we'll get him healed. We'll get him healed. Elixir yourself. Inspire the group. Cleave. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So much. Oh, my God. I thought someone was dead right there. That was probably the stupidest mistake right there. Not healing. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, Sasuna. I am so thankful to you right there. That she survived. Alright, we need to raise her MP badly. Ow. Oh, MP. I forgot to heal my guys MP. Ow. Alright, well that gives me an excuse right there for an elixir. Cleave. Time strike. Luminaire. Jesus, what? Okay, is that it?
What's wrong, Satsuna? You should be happy. We won. At the very last moment, it was as if something was reaching out to me. What do you mean? It was like a feeling of intense rage and of intense sorrow. In there, there were definitely human emotions. Panda? Long ago, long even before the Dark Samsara was created, all humans possessed powerful magical energy, but at some point their magical energy started to decline, and eventually it was almost gone completely. People around the world conducted research into how to prevent it from disappearing, although most of them came up with nothing. One kingdom produced striking results. It was the kingdom that once stood here, the kingdom of Kira's ancestors. But the kingdom's researchers were a little too brilliant, and they went too far. They came up with a horrific way of maintaining a supply of energy. Magical energy, a method of extracting it from living beings. As a result, most beings that possess magical energy were used in experiments. Then one day, an innocent youth who possessed immense magical energy arrived in the royal capital. He volunteered to help with their research in order to save the world from its predicament. Using Sprint Knight, they amplified this magical energy and extracted it. Then they repeated the process over and over again. But then his magical energy began to amplify indefinitely and quickly spiraled out of their control. Unable to contain their, this vast rampaging, rampaging magical energy, the youth was destroyed. He became a massive ever glowing energy. You don't mean that youth was... That thing we defeated just now. So the hatred channeled into me through the monster blood was his hatred. The sorrow I felt came from my master's human feelings of sorrow. This can't be true. The time judges used all the spirit nights she'd been researching in order to seal it away. The kingdom was destroyed, but the entire world narrowly avoided complete ruin. As a result, though, the time judge became unable to move from here. So in order to maintain her life force and magical energy, she asked for sacrifices. That's right. It was a tough decision to make, but in order to keep the creature sealed away and protect the world, she had no choice. There was no other way. So the root of all it, this was the greed of humans, desperate to regain their magical energy. Because of that greed, my kingdom perished and the sacrificial rites became necessary. Humanity suffered at the hands of the monsters, and the world was unable to advance into the future. We continued to play out the past over and over again, stuck in a constant stalemate. What foolishness. What complete and utter foolishness. Well, it's over now. We have to look toward the future. There is no way that was over. That was way too easy. What is that? <sighs> that light just now. Was that... So the Dark Simsara is still alive. It is strange. I cannot sense its presence. You're not going to sense it no matter how hard you try. It's no longer here. I mean, no longer in this world. Then surely there's no problem. No, there's a big problem. It's escaped to the past. It's planning on changing the flow of time. Escape to the past? What do you mean? The Dark Simsara sent itself back in time. It managed to avoid the effects of time being wound back over and over again. It learned. It evolved. Then there's no way for us to follow after it. None at all. The space-time Sprint Knight disappeared along with the Time Judge. There's no way to go back to the past. This is the end. It's starting to collapse. With the Dark Sims here gone, the space is vanishing. Damn it! Ain't there some sort of way we can- we came this far? Traveling across time? How is that even possible? Looks like we're out of options. So now, the world shall fall into eternal darkness. Damn it! Where did we go wrong? We did everything we could, and it still wasn't enough. This is the worst possible outcome. The end has begun. I can sense it. Disaster has begun. <laughs> I'll see you there safely. I haven't forgotten. 
I remember our promise, but this isn't the time. Tell me something, Panda. How did the Dark Simsero send itself back in time? The time judge's space-time sprint night is gone, isn't it? Powerful or highly emotionally charged magic is set to leave behind a trail in space-time. The trail is a record of the magic used and also of its user's memories. It stays fixed in space. Time being repeatedly wound back must have left behind a very powerful trail of magical energy. And now the Dark Simsero has followed it back through time. Can't we follow it as well, then? No, not just anyone can sense it. Even I don't have any idea how to do that. Oh, right. Lucas, can you see them? Yes. So you can. I can see them, too. These rings of light. Rings of light? You mean you can see it? You can see the trail of magical energy? These rings of light were there throughout our journey as if guiding us on our way. Now I understand why. The save points? They're a record of all our journeys together. A record of our determination of, of our steps toward the future. How many times did we repeat this journey? How many times did we fail? But no matter what, we always ended up together again. Here we are after all. Here we are after all. What a clever way to use the save points. That's because the rings of light always brought us together. No matter where you were, I could always sense everyone's presence. Lucas. So you and Lucas have been able to see it all this time. Maybe you two really will be able to follow after him. Really? The trail is a record of the magic used and also of its user's memories. If there's a trail here, they should be able to travel across time like the Dark Simsera did. It'll probably require an incredible amount of magical energy to do so. But I'll do it. I know I can do it. I'll send you back. I believe in you, Panda. I'm ready. I've been ready all along. Lucas, will you come with me? That was my plan all along. Thank you. Looks like we're going to have to stake everything on these two. We need to hurry before all hope disappears. I'm giving all my remaining magical energy to you two. I'm sorry to be burdening you with this load right at the very end. She's giving us all their energy. You must return, no matter what. Damn. Please, go. Go to him. I'm gonna use every last ounce of my magical energy. And we're gonna send Luke and Tatsuna in the, into the past. Luke, take care of Satsuna. Don't worry about it. I got this. Satsuna, Lucas. I'm proud to have spent my final journey together with the two of you. Damn. This is... Knife Island? Oh my gosh, is it the kid that Monster died who he was friends with? Yes, I remember it all too well. Maybe? No. No, this is Knife Island. Never mind. Where did you come from? You weren't on that last ship, were you? This is her, her village, right? I think. Yeah. You want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just head northwest, and you'll see. Okay. So here's Knife. Welcome. 
Traveler. I am Raishin. I live here in this village. That's her dad. Beautiful scenery. Warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. Please stay as long as you like. Is something the matter? Nothing. You're not worried about the monsters, are you? If so, there's no need to fear. I shall protect everyone, even if it costs me my life. How unusual to see this many outsiders, though. Oh, sorry. I saw a figure by the Falling Snow Monument earlier. I'm curious now if her mom is here. Too. I guess not. Okay. Let's go see who was at the Fallen Snow Monument. If that's even her house. I don't even remember if that's her house. It might be this one. No. I don't remember where what one her house was. But that's fine. We're, let's, let's continue. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh... The Fallen Snow, uh, Stone Monument. That's, um, that's above here, right? I think. That was that place where I found her originally. Oh, is she healed? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. So basically, people's greed caused this whole mess of wanting to have magical abilities. And the monster that we've been fighting is just a scared boy who was used by the world and wanted revenge. You don't mean, have you returned to your human form? Human. Human form? Your emotions were channeled into someone else, and he cried. So why? Why can't you remember those feelings? Cried? Keep talking to him. If he can get back to his soul, like he got back his human form, then maybe, just maybe... I... cried? Help. 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 Stop. Cried with anger. Cried with hatred. I will. I will. Never forgive. Humans. Let's let him go. He doesn't understand. Defeating him is our destiny. He doesn't understand. I can sense it. It's very faint, but I can sense his soul. Do you still think we won't be able to understand each other? Lucas. Let's go. What? I hit him once. He's not dead, is he? Stay back. Don't worry. It's all right. What did she do? Did she just take him in? Were you planning this all along? Yes, I'm sorry for not saying anything. I want to be close to him. I want to make up for all the time he's lost. 
He must have been so lonely all alone like that. Lucas. Please destroy my body. I shall fulfill my final duty as sacrifice. She can't ask me to do that. Lucas, I'm glad I met you. I can't. There's no way. Don't swing your sword. Thank you. What happened? <laughs> we did it though, right? What's wrong, Cap? I bet most people haven't noticed a thing. Notice what? Arm Jam and the others. They did it. There was no way I could kill her. I've been wanting to not kill her this whole journey. This was the point. I'm wondering if she's alive now, though. Like, what exactly happened? Oh, no! Panda! Aw. Oh. Her soul is gone. And then now a queen taking taking over. Ah, uh, Arm Jam came back to uh, her, her, well, no, he's not her father, but her, because Arm Jam's her father, her, her uh, adopted father, I guess. What an amazing story, though. I swear. <laughs> oh! Is he gonna team up with the airship guy? Help protect him. <laughs> like, I can see so much love went into this game. And Tokyo Factory, is, I, I, I believe, is a small company, too. So these guys, like, really put their all into this. And this really makes me excited to jump into Lost Sphere. I am ready for it. Oh, look. That's it. We did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I know it's um, it didn't get the most views, and that's fine. I I play what I like to play, and I enjoy it. Um, yeah, and I I just hope that you guys enjoyed it. The the very few of you guys that watched, and um, had one heck of a roller coaster ride with me because it was so amazing. The story was so just heartwarming. I couldn't kill Satsuna. I couldn't. I had to keep her alive. She was too sweet and too amazing to the story. 
Um, what that means for the world, though, I don't know. She took the, basically, the evil, not the evil, but she took the being into herself. Um, in the end, you know, it, it was it was humans. Humans were the real monsters of this story. They, they pushed this kid to the brink of wanting to destroy the world uh, with all this stuff they did to him in his time. And Satuna just wanted to give him a happy life in the end, which is crazy uh, to think, I guess. Um, definitely recommend playing if you haven't. I this, this came out on the Switch, I think, around launch day. So definitely a fun one to take on the go. Really amazing story. Um, look forward to Lost Fear. I'll be jumping back into that as soon as I can. Um, so I can start playing that. But um, I actually have some um, other videos of another game that I've been playing that I want to upload at, at least a couple, not not too many, but uh, a few of them. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy that as well. Uh, but we're, we're only going to wait and see if there's any uh, after credit scenes or anything like that. Because you never know. just like wow like it, it was a ride it was one heck of a ride i just can't believe uh that i missed out on this for that for as long as i did Oh, look at that. He's walking toward the, like, the artwork tree. Satsuna, the end. So she is back. Alright, so if I load my save file, uh, what happens? Oh, it just starts me here, right before the Dark Simpsons fight. So this is in case, I guess, we want to go back, right? It doesn't change anything here. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, let me know if there's anything maybe I missed uh, if you played the game, like, completely. But I will see you all on another playthrough. Bye.